Hello guys, welcome to my class. Today, my name is Marcela, Marcela Mallet, and I'm an English teacher, I'm from Brazil, and today I'm here to teach you the was and the were. Uh, this class is very simple, and if you understand there is and they are, you're gonna understand this class really easily. You use the reason they are when you want to say that something exists, that something is here. There is when you're talking about singular, and there are when it's plural. So, this is in the present. When we want to talk about the past, we use the was for the is when we're talking about singular actions. When we're talking about plural, we use there are in the present and then in the past there were okay so singular we use was there was plural we use there were okay so right here i brought some, some examples for us there is a book in my room i'm saying that exist a book in my room i have a book in my room so i say there is a book in my room, present. When I want to say that existed a book in my room, I say there was a book in my room because I'm talking about past actions. I'm talking about the past. I don't have the book anymore in my room. So if I don't, I use there was because I'm talking about only one book. If it's singular, there is, if it's present, past, there was. Now, if we're talking about plural, as you guys see here, I use there are, one is present, and there were, one is past. So, there are books in my room. There are, present. There were books in my room. So, as you guys can see here, there are books in my room. I'm talking about books. It's in the plural. And here is in the singular. You see, a book. I'm not talking about many books, just a book. So, that's the difference, basically. There is and there, were, there was a singular and there are and there were plural. There is and there are present in the present. There was and there were in the past. That's it. You guys want to see the structure now? Let's go. Bling. So guys, to form a negative or affirmative or interrogative sentence is very simple. And all you have to do is just follow this right here and you guys going to be good. It's, it's very easy. Let's do it. So, affirmative sentence for singular, there was. Affirmative sentence for plural, there were. I have two sentences here to help you guys understand better. So, there was, and then you complete the sentence for affirmative sentence in the singular. So, there was a pen here. There was a book on the table. There was a guy in front of my house. So, you only complete the sentence in a singular way, of course, because there was is for singular sentences. And that's it. That's the affirmative form. And for the word... It's plural, so I need plural things. I need plural objects in the plural. So, there were nice restaurants. You see, I'm talking about many restaurants. There were nice restaurants in Recife. So, that's it. Affirmative sentence. To transform in the negative, all I have to do is add not after was or not after were. So, there was a pen here. If I want to transform this sentence in the negative, there was not a pen here. And then the same thing here, there were nice restaurants in Recife. If I want to say that, this, that there were not, I just add not after were. There were not nice restaurants in Recife. Isn't it easy? Interrogative. To form... A question, all you have to do is to get the verb to be in the past, which is were, was and were, and you have to put it first, before the word there. So, so you have there was a pen here, you get the verb was, 
and you put it first. Was there a pen here? And you already formed the question. And the same here, were there were nice restaurants in Recife? Question, were there nice restaurants in Recife? And that's how you form a question. So it's very easy. If you follow this, you're not gonna make a mistake and you're gonna be good. I also have in the description of the, of the video, a link with the review of the class, with the main points of the class and exercise. You need to exercise what you're learning so you can fix all the information in your brain, okay? So practice, practice, practice. And if you can practice speaking with somebody, talking with somebody, it's gonna be great for you. I hope you like this class and have a good day. If you want to follow me on Instagram too, that's my Instagram, arroba, I just said in Portuguese, at Marcela Mallet, and you can send me questions, uh, you can, I don't know, just talk to me, be my friend, and it's gonna be a pleasure for me, okay? Thank you for following me and I hope you liked the video. Bye.